Okay, so they want to know um, if you have the expression 12w to the ninth, y to the third, over negative 3w to the third, y to the third, what is this equivalent to? Now, one thing that might throw you off is this negative sign because you might lose track of it or over apply it as you work through the problem. So I suggest when you write this out, right, 12w to the ninth, y to the third, when you write that denominator, treat negative 3 uh, as its own term, right, and put it in parentheses. Because really, if you think about the division here, if the denominator is negative or has a negative value, you only want to apply it once. So a way of doing that, that will, or a way to work through it to find that you won't apply it more than you have to, for me, is at least to put it in parentheses with the number it's next to. This just makes sure I, I just treat w to the third as a positive value and y to the third as a positive value. I don't need to treat them as negatives over and over again. Once I think about that, I have 12 over negative 3, that's just negative 4, again, put it in parentheses, w to the 9 over w to the 3, well, we have the same base, right, the base is w, we're dividing, so you subtract the exponents, we have w to the 9 minus 3, and then y to the 3 over y to the 3, and I'll show you that's just, of course, 3 minus 3, and we have negative 4 now, w to the 6th, y to the 0, which is equal to negative 4w to the 6th, because y to the 0 is just 1. And you might recognize that here, we just subtract these two exponents, but really we have y to the 3rd over itself. Anything over itself cancels out, because 1, right, anything divided by itself is 1, and that will not affect your division or multiplication, so it cancels out, it goes away. And that's it, right? Now we have negative 4w times, uh, negative 4w to the 6th, power. All right, I hope this helped.